We have more details about the upcoming Ant Financial IPO. It will be split between the Hong Kong Exchange and the Chinese exchanges, uh, Shanghai, possibly Kuchanban, the new star board. And the important thing, though, is that it's not in the U.S. That's a big deal. Look at PayPal, which is a similar company, sort of. It has a PE of 80, but from the Hong Kong IPO perspective, we now can see that Ant, if they've got 5.6 billion in trailing earnings and they've got 250 billion in potential market cap, would have a PE of about 40. That's half. That's half what they could possibly get, maybe even less than half, in, in the U.S. Again, this is what they're targeting to raise, and the market may give them uh, a much bigger valuation. It probably will. But the point is, they're deliberately giving up with probably a higher valuation for what they believe, I'm, I'm guessing, is more stability in the Chinese market. So that's an interesting sign of these times. You ever tried to get a bunch of people excited about batteries? Well, Elon Musk did the other day. He didn't necessarily succeed. I think the market was hoping for a really long-term battery life. His goal is a Tesla that costs $25,000 or less. The average car, by the way, is $37,000 in the U.S., so a $25,000 car would be well below average and, and in the affordability range of a lot of people. And importantly, make that $25,000 car profitable, so it's sustainable. So the event wasn't a big needle mover for Tesla, but its stock is up still like 350% year to date, so I don't think Tesla investors are complaining about much of anything these days. All right, a double-edged sword. Tech stocks giveth, and tech stocks taketh away. This is a wooden sword, but you get the idea. Um, stocks have been down like four weeks straight now in the U.S. Recently, the drop has been because Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said the Fed shouldn't add more stimulus. It needs to come from Congress, but that's not the real reason. The real reason is the market is getting more rational, and I actually take this as a good sign. Stocks just kept going up and up and up and up, and now they're coming down a little bit. That's not so bad to be more rational. But remember, it's not all stocks. This is really important. The big tech stocks are the ones that are dominating the index up and down. If you own them, yes, you're going up and down. But if you don't, if you're diversified, which you should be, then your stocks are much, much less volatile. Okay, that's important to remember in an electoral college kind of a sense as it applies to the stock market. All right, Oracle and TikTok and Walmart love triangle. When you were a kid, did you ever feel like your parents might be fighting about you, but they're not really fighting about you? You're just kind of the vector? Well, Bite Dance may have a little bit of the same feeling. In a deal that nobody really seems to understand, apparently Oracle and Walmart were going to combine to own 20% of TikTok Global. This is a new U.S. company that was supposed to be set up. And either ByteDance itself, which is 40% owned by U.S. investors, or a separate group of ByteDance investors was supposed to own a chunk more, somehow pushing majority ownership of TikTok Global above 50%. Uh, apparently, the Chinese side saw it differently, or at least the Chinese government did, and said, no, we need to control TikTok, especially the algorithms, whereas Trump had said Walmart and Oracle will control. So, this deal looks like it may blow up. This is just what happens when things get muddy, things get complicated. It's strange because the end result is, is an app that's got a lot of like 20 year old girls dancing and it's become this uh, matter of national security, but hey, these are the times we live in. Buzzfeed reported that some of the world's biggest banks like uh, HSBC, JP Morgan and some others are in some trouble for over the course of nearly 20 years from 1999 to 2017 participating in in alleged money laundering and in various dirty money schemes remember some of these banks are the same banks that were involved in the u.s subprime lending crisis which was not entirely a crisis of moral hazard or morality but partially was so uh, it makes you wonder do we as as humans really learn from our mistakes or do we just get better at hiding them. <laughs>